Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Takeout to download the files from your Google account, save them, and then use them in another Google account. This is great if you know that you're leaving one organization or one school and going to another one, but you don't know when you're going to have access to your new account. So let's go ahead and take a look here at Google Takeout. You'll find it at takeout.google.com. And the first thing you're going to want to do is specify what you actually want to save because some of these options may be things that you never actually used in your Google account. You know, maybe you never used Blogger or you never really used Android device configuration services. And so in that case, you're not going to want to save those. You might want to save your Chrome bookmarks, history, and other settings. Uh, in this case here, you can see I have classic sites enabled, but I'm going to disable that. I don't need anything that's in my classic Google sites out of this particular account. Now, my Google Classroom, depending on your organization, your school may not let you or want you to take out your Google Classroom information. So check with them. And you can see all the other options here as well. Now, I have gone through and selected that I want to keep the ones, my information from Google Keep. I want to keep my information from Gmail. And I want to keep my information from My Maps. And I'm also going to keep my information from Google Drive, which I had up here at the beginning of this list. So I've chosen all my options there. And there are some advanced options, as you can see, for Google Drive. And you can say that you want to include named, published, and uploaded versions or and or include additional information for files and folders. And you can see all drive data included. Or you can say that you want to only have some of that information that's in your Google Drive. So maybe I'm going to turn off Google Forms user data. Uh, I'm going to turn off my media for classroom projects, or maybe I do want to use that. Maybe I do want to save that one. But I'm going to turn off my social studies department resources. And so now I'm happy with all of my selections. And let's go down here and hit next step. And we want to export this once. Now you can see here, you can also set this up to be exported on a regular basis. And you can choose if you want to have this information sent to you via email. You can add it to Drive, add it to OneDrive, add it to Box. I'm going to get it via email. Now, this is important to note. If you are leaving one school district or one organization and you want to download this information, download it quickly before you lose access to that current account. So let's create that export. And we're now going to see that our export is in progress. And I'm going to get an email when this is done. And so we'll take a look at what that email looks like and what I can do with that downloaded file next. So when your Google Takeout is ready, you'll get an email that looks like this one from Google and you can click on download your files. And so we'll download those files. We're going to be asked to verify that it's really us. So in this case here, we'll put in the password for Max, and we're going to now be able to download this zip file, which we'll see right here on my desktop. Now I'll go ahead and open that one up, and we'll see inside a takeout there are additional folders, including one for Drive, Keep, Mail, and My Maps, which are all folders that I asked for from Google Takeout. And inside my Drive, we can see I have other folders inside there as well. Now, I want to move this into another Google account. So I have that zip file, and I want to move the information into a different Google account. I already have the zip file stored on my local computer. If you're not going to have access to the computer that you downloaded it to, 
I'd recommend creating a backup either on a physical hard drive that you can put into another computer, use a thumb drive, a flash drive, or use a cloud service that's not Google, perhaps OneDrive or Dropbox or something like that. So next, we'll take a look at how to use this zip file in a new Google account. So here I am now in a different Google account, and you can see that's my different account right there. And I want to include that folder that I just downloaded from my Google Takeout. And you'll see if I try to do that, I can't upload the zip folder. So what I need to do is look at the contents of, the, of that zip folder, go inside Takeout, go inside Drive, and then I'm going to say, I want to use just the media for classroom projects. I'm going to drag that to my desktop. This is kind of the simplest way to do it. You can do it in other ways, but that's pretty much the most straightforward method. And so now I'll go back here and we'll do a folder upload. And from my desktop here, let's get that folder media for classroom projects. And now I'm going to upload it into my Google Drive. And then I'll be able to access everything that's in that folder. If I had Google Documents in that folder, I'd be able to access those Google Documents that are inside that folder as well. So that's a short overview of how to use Google Takeout. Now it's important to remember that you want to use Google Takeout before you lose access to your current Google account and make sure you download the zip files and store them in a place that you can access even after you've lost access to the Google account issued by your school or organization. Save that zip file securely until you have your new account issued by your new school or organization. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.